This is Vulcan Mission Control at TT minus 3 minutes 54 seconds. For today's test, we have support from our launch console operators and engineering teams at both the ASOC here at the Cape and in Colorado at our Denver Operations Support Center. While today's test is primarily about testing the vehicle and ground systems, it also serves as an opportunity to train and certify our launch team to support the first flight of the new Vulcan vehicle. This vehicle configuration is unique to the FRF test with no spacecraft, payload fairing, or SRBs. After a successful FRF, the vehicle will be inspected and reconfigured into the flight article. It will then follow our standard processing operations and the encapsulated spacecraft and SRBs will be mated before launch. Two minutes, 38 seconds. Two minutes, 30 seconds. You may also notice that the Vulcan logo is covered in a layer of ice on both the booster, LOX, and methane tanks. These aluminum tanks are uninsulated, so condensation freezes when the tanks are filled with cryogenic propellants. The por portions of the vehicle without ice are composite structures or are covered in SOFI, spray-on foam insulation. Vehicle internal. Flat sequencer start. One minute, 50 seconds. One minute, 40 seconds. Launch enabled. One minute, 35 seconds. FTS armed. T minus 90 seconds. The rocket, ground systems, and eastern range are go. One minute, 20 seconds. SCS count started. We're about one minute away. Forty-five. Tank set step three. Sixteen. Ground vent valve secured. Go, FRF. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We have ignition. LC switch not ready. Ready to reset the clock to T minus seven. Reset the clock. Countdown clock to T minus seven. We just saw ULA's Vulcan engines throttle up for the first time.
LC, yeah. this is Peeny 1. Go, Peeny 1. Full Vulcan pressures are stable. Rock. Rice announce ignition, power, and shutdown of Vulcan's twin BE-4 engines. The team is now looking at how the engine operated, analyzing data from the firing, and safing the vehicle as we prepare to detank. Go ahead. I'm looking for a status at step 40. Max in chill mode. Roger. And LC, this bike control. Go. Step 60, S BAPS. S -S Once we start detanking and the booster tanks start to warm up, the Vulcan logo will reveal itself again. The rocket you see at Slick 41 today is the same vehicle that will be launching the first certification flight. 